So one of the new apps that came with macOS Mojave is Voice Memos. Now this app has been around for a long time in iOS but this is the first time we have it on the Mac. So you're probably not going to find it in the dock to begin with. But if you search for it, I'm going to do Command Space here and search for Voice Memos and launch it that way, it will bring it up. Voice Memos is a pretty simple app. It just simply records from the microphone on your Mac. Whatever the default mic is in case you have more than one attached to your Mac. There's really no preferences here. Uh, you can set the number of days until something is deleted from the Voice Memos trash after you delete it. So 30 days is the default. And you can set it to lossless quality if you want. Also it automatically names each Voice Memo. So you can use location based naming or have that turned off. You can of course rename any Voice Memo when you're done with it. So how does it work? Well you simply hit the red button and you talk. This is a sample Voice Memo. Hit the pause button there to pause it. You can actually resume and continue recording the same voice memo. And then you can play it back as well. This is a sample voice memo. You can go back 15 seconds or for 15 seconds. It's more useful, of course, if it's a longer voice memo that you've made. You can also move around by clicking here. You could drag around. And you can replace at any point. So I can kind of position it here and hit replace and start talking again and pause. So you can see the replace is when you're before the end and if you're at the end it changes to resume. Now when you're done and happy with it you can hit done. And now you see the recording here. You can click and change its name. You see the time it was recorded, the length. You can play it back. You can scrub around inside it and play it back. And you can also hit the Edit button. When you edit you kind of go back into voice recording mode. So once again you can move around and start replacing from a point in time or go all the way to the end and resume. You actually even have more options than that. So you go into File here and you see you can start new recording. Um, you can use the space bar instead of hitting that red dot there to play and pause the recording. Uh, you can Duplicate a recording which is useful if you want to edit one but keep the original. Um, under Edit not only can you go into Edit Mode but you can also go into Trim Mode. So Trim Mode allows you to grab kind of this yellow box around it and trim it to wherever you want. And you can see it right there and you can hit Trim or you can delete that section so you can cut a section out. Or you can Cancel to get out of that. Then you're in the regular edit mode. Notice the regular edit mode does allow you to go into trim mode by clicking this button here. So you click that button to go into it and then hit done to go all the way back out. Now after you have several recordings, let's let's do another one here. This is a test of another recording. You've got the multiple recordings here. You can drag one to the desktop there and it will actually export. So you can drag it to the desktop or any finder and it exports in a standard format. So you have that but you can also select it and hit the share button and share directly through mail, airdrop, messages, etc. So you have the ability to get it out of voice memos in a lot of different ways. Clearly this is meant for just recording your voice, uh, leaving memos, something to be transcribed later, that kind of thing. But it's recording at full quality so you could actually uh, record music into it. You could uh, you know, record say a lecture or something else that's going on using voice memos. Anything that you would use uh, you know, the voice memos app on your iPhone for. Note that voice memos do sync through iCloud. So you have to be using iCloud Drive. Go into iCloud, iCloud Drive and under Options you can see it's one of the options here of the Voice Memos app and you have that turned on. So this means that Voice Memos that you make on your iPhone or your iPad will appear in the Voice Memos app on your Mac and vice versa. So it's just one location for all your Voice Memos. That's really handy because you can record these Voice Memos on your iPhone and then play them back later on your Mac when you're sitting at your desk.